Hello, this is Banana Gaming and Toys, and today I'll be reviewing the Puma Fusion Nitros. <laughs> All right, so opening up the box, we have the shoe. This looks like a basketball shoe to me, which it is. I don't know. It yeah, probably is. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Because yeah, I've seen in school some people wearing this as running shoes. It might just be because this thing looks like oh yeah, I I know why this, I know why they use this as running shoes. It's the softest shoe I've ever I've probably ever seen. It's super soft. Hmm. Okay. So now, starting from the traction. Looking at the traction wise, it's pretty unique, so it bites pretty hard. That's, yeah, I've n I haven't seen this type of traction in a really really long time in any shoes, so. But it bites pretty hard. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly why sure why they decided to make this area like the area with the most contact to the floor most of the time with the Puma logo because that just seems a bit useless because they put the area with the most traction to the floor with the Puma logo. But that that hits the floor the most. So that we're relying on the rubber there. So okay, if they want to do it like that. They want. Next thing I got a question is the shoelace. That's, that's, I guess the shoe's very unique with this shoelace design. Yeah. They decided to skip out on a lot of this little, little notches here, so I'm gonna I'm test something. Oh, never mind, they do have it. It's just up here. I'm gonna test something. What is that? What is it? So doing a quick test as I thought this would not work well because it does not have a quick lace system so you're going to be pretty uncomfortable with this and even when you manually notch up every single one when you pull to like tighten it will still like make this little weird shape and of course cut off the front of your heel like front of your foot so yeah, and that might be uncomfortable for everybody that doesn't want to go through the process of doing that. So if they want a quick lace system, this is definitely not it. Because it kind of crushes the tongue down. All right, so now we go on to cushioning. Cushioning wise, this is a really, really pretty soft shoe. I wish the insole was a bit softer, but yeah, that's just a personal preference. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's almost, it's probably pretty much like a memory foam. And with the shoe kind of being so like soft and like mushy, I would say, it's a really mushy shoe. I would say it would kind of mold to your foot a bit more. And also from knowing from people, yeah, this shoe starts to expand pretty quickly. Now toe wise, there is no toe protector on the shoe. Piece of actually is that is that yeah that's a toe protector never mind I stand incorrect that is a toe protector I just cannot quite tell there is just nothing protecting you from above there is something from blunting your toe but there's nothing for to protect your toe from above and heel wise it's a, it's a bit ele elevated what's this reminds me of a Nike swoosh kinda. With this little thing right here, I can understand that, but yeah, we have a pretty hard heel protector. And overall, yeah. So now material-wise, this is this is all rubber and fabrics. It's all rubber almost. Because I'm pretty sure this is just fabric covered in rubber. This is rubber. That is fabric covered in rubber. More rubber, rubber. Rubber here, rubber there. It's mostly just, it all feels like rubber. Plastic. Okay. And you have your foam, foam, and yeah. It's all plastic and rubber. Fit wise, it's pretty, it's a pretty wide foot. 
with, but it gets pretty narrow on the inside, so. Uh, I, if you're going to wear this and you absolutely insist on wearing this shoe, even though there are many, many better options uh, for when it comes to basketball shoes, there are many better options than this thing. Uh, I would recommend getting a size bigger than your foot. Oh uh, yeah, if you are wide foot, if you're tr if you're a slim foot, true to size, because yeah, that's what they intend with these things. Support wise. Uh, Wait, wait a second. Uh, I'm not sure where the plate is on this one. I'm not sure where the plate is. Because it is kind of bendable. Uh, yeah. Support wise, I'm not sure about this shoe. There is. Either there's a plate and it's really, really thin, or there's no plate at all, and I'm just pretty weak. There's a little rubber. It might, it might be doing a Kyrie or something, but I'm not sure about this shoe because it's pretty floppy. Shoe-wise, it's pretty floppy. And it's currently, being, it's currently being kept from breaking in two because there's one piece of rubber at the back. So it's, it's pulling up a Kyrie here. Now, from here we have Nitro Foam. Going around to give you that extra jump on the video right here. You can kind of see it there. It's Nitro Foam. And overall, I'm still not sure if this is a basketball shoe, is it? Okay, this is a basketball shoe. Let me give a rundown of it. It is very, very narrow. Well, the most one of the most narrow shoes I've seen. It stretches pretty well, and it's mostly made of plastic. So it's pretty much waterproof, if you, even, if you want to know that. It's pretty much waterproof. And uh, it has not... If you have sweaty feet, this thing has barely any ventilation because everything, all the fabric is covered by plastic. So there is no ventilation on this shoe. And uh, it, uh, it has this weird little system with laces. So quick lacing is not an option because unless you want to see this little ridge here and it, that it will always, generally just if you even have your foot there, it's always going to be a bit uncomfortable there. Now, few more things with this thing I'm not sure about the plate like cuz they might be trying to copy Kyrie's shoes or something but the current only thing that's keeping this thing from breaking in two is because it's long piece of plastic but again this piece of plastic is very very stretchable so the, I'm pretty sure the more you play with this shoe the less the less stable it's gonna get because of this long piece of plastic is the only thing really keeping this thing in one piece because I'm not because the plate is very stretchable. Because there is that I'm not sure if there's a plate here at all because if I put it to here, yeah, it's very bendable. Bendable. So I'm not sure about this shoe. It might be trying to do a Kyrie though. But just keep note that the more you play with the shoe, the more chances that this uh, your shoe's gonna spread or just go toward your foot. It does you will. So overall, this shoe I'd give it style-wise, it's pretty stylish. Uh, I'll give it like an eight. Function-wise, if you want to play basketball, there's better options than this. I'll keep it as a running shoe or maybe like a style shoe, just to like wear a streetwear. I don't particularly recommend you using this to play basketball. It just, it just uh, if you're playing on a hot day, this is like almost like suicide to people, to people's feet. And me being a very, very heavy sweater when it comes to the feet, this would not be a choice for me to, at any situation. No, this would not be a choice for me. But that does not deter you if you don't have sweaty feet like me. And yeah, you can wear this and do whatever you want with this shoe. But overall, I'm going to give this shoe like an 8.1. It's a pretty good functioning shoe. I'm not sure about where this little uh, the plate is on this thing is because well unless I'm weak or the plate is thin it, it just happens to be very bendable and the only thing really keeping keeping it together is this very very thin piece thin piece of fabric covered foam or that is just full plastic 
It's very, very thin piece of plastic. It's the only thing keeping it together. And as this is a very stretchable and moldable material, this will always start stretching. So again, as a warning, this, this shoe might become more and more unstable the more you play with it. So all together, I'm giving this shoe an 8.1 and I'm banana getting new toys on out. Thank <laughs> you. 